If a picture is worth a thousand words, who do those words belong to when you stole it from my ancestors? Your artwork keeps us silent. Cultural appropriation is using our tapu symbols as decorations for your profit. We have watched you suffocate our culture beneath your colonialism. Dig up our urupa so you can wear our ancestors' skin for your costume. Excavate their bones for your curiosity. Cover up the death. Privilege makes for such a pretty palette. Trauma makes it so lifelike. Paint your memoirs with brushes made of my grandmother's hair. Dining table stained with mangopare so you can eat off of our backs one more time. Bed sheets soaked with the sweat of Maori artists. Who needs talent when you can steal it? After all, taking things that don't belong to them and calling it their own is what your ancestors did best. Maori blood looks so good on your canvas. A culture wax sealed for your convenience. Smuggle photographs of wahine in your pocket to sell on the white market. Everyone wants the pretty Māori girl until she is trying to speak. Pressing her picture perfect to keep her silent. Don't we make for such good dolls? Tie our culture around your neck. Dirty fingerprints lick stolen portraits to own brown bodies. What do you imagine we are saying when you paint us? Colour my portrait in your deepest shade of ignorance. Paint me like one of your Māori girls, Jack. Dressed in nothing but your chains. So exotic, no. Exploit our cultural traditions and call it your profit. Art tastes so much better when it wasn't paid for with your blood. Everyone loves to sell the savage, but no one wants to honour the treaty. This is privilege. Your feeling of entitlement to our taonga. Wasn't it enough that you vilified us for our tohu? Use them to deny us jobs, to racially profile us, treat us as second class citizens, and then you turn around and use those symbols for your artwork as your business logo, to sell your product, fill your galleries, that we as Māori are demonised for wearing mataora, but a Pākehā woman can slap it on a monkey and call it art. Our culture is not a buffet. Pick and choose which parts will fill your belly, line your pockets with the ink of our wahine momoko. Our grandmother's faces are not your pieces of art to colonise. Our trauma is not for sale. Our taonga are not up for auction, so watch as we burn down your galleries to warm our homes. Set your privilege alight. Use your picture frames for firewood, your name for flint. And we will take back every fragment you stole. Peace by peace. Okay.